200 years ago. Why is it still here? Because Father Matthias loved books. All books. He didn't want to see it destroyed. Sounds reckless. And he was right to do so. Books shouldn't be destroyed, even if their content is in questions. That is true. Books should not be destroyed, even if people don't like what's inside the book. They should just be, you know, put less accessible. People that burn books because they didn't like what they were talking, what was inside the book. It's like saying we should destroy history. It's not okay. The Holy Church does not share your opinion. It is their law we must contend with, not your emotions. But I'm not in the church. The church was wrong. Oh, well, we can't say that. We can't say that to her. Fume silently. It's not my place to question the former abbot's decision. But when Father Garnot learned it was in our possession, he wanted it destroyed. How did Father Garnot even know the book was here? Must the book be destroyed? No one even knows that it's here. I refuse to give it to you if you're going to destroy it. I and take it. Mother Cecilia made a note of it in the inventory when she was the librarian. Was the book no one knows even... Hmm. Should we give it to her? I do. So do Mother Cecilia and Father Garneau. I refuse. I'm not going to give it to her. I repeat, I am not going to give it to her. Why not? What are you going to do with it? Protect it. I'm not sure. I'll hide it. I'll keep it safe. Read it and become a French heretic. <laughs> That's not funny. I'm serious. Give me that book or our deal is forfeit. I won't tell you anything about Baron Rodvogel. Ah, oh, shizzle pickle. Consider the sound theological reasons for allowing this book to... I appeal to your duty as a librarian of this abbey to not destroy the book. I propose a compromise. I will take the book from the abbey far away. I'll be gone for the time about it, and if you like, you can say I stole it. I doubt he'll make a fuss about me stealing a book he wanted destroyed. I don't like this. It feels wrong in my heart. It feels right enough in my heart for both of us. Persuade Illuminata. No! Ah, Illuminata! I love you, Illuminata. Go in your cell phone and, get, and do make the... I need the poutine. The duty of the librarian? More sounds than a condemnation from three bishops of Paris? What's this? Offer to help Illuminata? I mean, who are we going to trust them? Persuade Illuminata. Ah! Did you leave university or were you expelled? I appeal to your duty as a librarian. My duty is to God. Oh my God. Okay, what do we do? This book shouldn't be destroyed. Express admiration for Irish Scrim Marinius. What's the arrows? Two arrows down, two arrows up. But what about the librarian rules? Books shouldn't be destroyed. I don't even know what that system is. We have nothing more to discuss. The book stays with me. So be it. She's caca. I thought we had... I thought she and... I thought we were going to have, you know, the little... Um, the little doo-doo. That's the bell for sex. The brothers will be sitting down for dinner soon. I should see if Otto is around and still wants to eat with me. I think he's working by the guest house below the abbey. Okay, let's go. Let's go. It's sex. It's sex o'clock. Cemetery? That's not the best place to go for dinner. Scriptorium, church, dormitory. Oh, church. Okay, let's go. Tower, crypt, oyster, monastery, locarium, upper abbey. I think it's here, right? No, it's not here. It's over here. Oyster? Is this it? 
Refectory. Courtyard and Lavatarium. Okay, let's go. Ah, the flowers. It's so pretty. Okay, let's go over here. Large garden. If you want a large salad, you go there. Upper Abbey. I just want to go home. Why is this considered Upper Abbey? It should be considered a uh, caca. We need to go tell the guy that we can't we can't eat with him. Guy yeah, man, Martin. Go away. Can't you send busy? What are you doing? I thought we could have a pleasant conversation for once. What are you doing, buddy? I'm minding your own business. You're right. It doesn't concern me. I'm only curious and curiosity is virtue. You're a scoundrel. Always up to no good. I'm keeping my eye on you. <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> Martin. I'm done talking. Eat shit. Oh, no. what's up, Odo? Good day, Master Myler. Good to see you. I trust Clara gave you my message. Afternoon, Andrus. Odo, Clara did give me your message. Sorry I missed you this morning. I was still asleep when you came by. The abbot really lets you get away with anything, doesn't he? Leave him be, Odo. I'm hungry. Let's pray. Yeah, when you're hungry, you gotta pray. That's the trick. Bless us, oh, and these gifts which we are about to receive from our bounty. Through Christ our Lord, amen. 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 How did the morning treat you? I've had a bad morning, barely got anything done, and my neck is aching anyway. When you're going to say something mean, just don't say it. Not too bad, thanks. I hurt my damned hand splitting timber to replace a bad beam in the abbot's house. Heed that. It's not about an injury. It's just me that the abbot bleds us dry, and we're all expected to do work here when it suits him. Select food to eat. I want to eat his food. Eat milk, rye bread. Yeah, yeah, the bread, man. It's not all that bad. I eat, I get a lot of good work from the Abbey. Casting pilgrim badge isn't really smithing, but I don't mind. Yeah, I ate that. Anyway, I saw you walking with that Baron Rothbuckle in the meadow on your way up here. What's that all about? He's here to check on a commission. I understand he was friendly with Father Matthias. I think he may be here to pressure Brother Piero to finish the manuscript he's working on. As far as I can tell, he's come to terrorize the people of Tassing and Kirso. He was. So Father Matthias had some misgiving about the Baron. What kind of misgivings? He doesn't seem like he has an unsavory side to him. That he fools around with young women. He's married, of course. That's only gossip, and it isn't Christian to spread rumors like that. It isn't Christian to spread rumors. Imagine if that was that was said today. It's not gossip that he beat us, that farmer, a few years back. Old Ranning may rest in peace. Well, I wasn't there, so I don't know. But if he did that, it speaks poorly of his character. We had a long conversation on our way up here, but he didn't mention anything about that. He beat someone? That doesn't seem like the sort of things he would do. What did you talk about? I mean, no offense, but does a nobleman have in what does a nobleman have in common with an artist? He talked to me about his work. He's fascinated by both arts and book. Martin Luther in my time in university, a variety of other things. He's quite very well educated. Sure, I imagine you have a lot of time to read, read when you don't have to worry where your next meal is going to come from. This bitterness and envy are not good for our Christian souls, Otto. Not envy, Andrus. No one should get away with what he does. What this abbey does no offense to you andreas i don't have any problems with the books the abbey makes i mean i never did learn to read but if people are paying the abbey to make them it doesn't bother me so i understand i see why people resent the abbot's rule he's a harsh lord i think you're a bit unfair the abbey does tasting a lot of good more than you realize uh did you see that baylor's sheep escaped by grazing field again no but i'm not surprised Martin was supposed to fix that fence, and he probably did a bad job at it. He's always in a foul mood, and he could be the laziest soul in tasking. He can't even hold a, a hammer properly. Married and father at such a young age, and he barely fits a, lifts a finger for his wife or child. 
On top of that, he's a damned thief. And before you say it, Andrus, that's more than just gossip. Look at him, over... Over there. Over at the guest house. He's probably figuring out what he can steal with the least amount of efforts. I admit, he seemed less than helpful when I saw him this morning. He's a born shirker. Sure enough, I know one when I see one. Yeah, especially when you look at you look in the mirror. Speaking of the Bower's sheep, their ooze are shorn, and the woman will be spinning it soon, Otto. I got it. No need to tease. What do you want to happen? What God wants will happen. Looks like a storm's coming, Mr. Wayne. We should probably get back to it. All right? I'll catch up in a moment, Andrus. Bread and, and cheese. The French way. Say hello to Eva for me, if you get a chance. Eva. Oh, look at Eva. She's poggers. Eva? Well chosen, Odo. Don't just tell her hello for me and keep... Yeah, don't just tell her hello for me. You're the one involving me in your courtship. I didn't ask to be your messenger. Of course. Time to get back to work. Hey, Martin, you suck. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't. Uh, look at these. Oh, there's hunters. What about this guy? Carl. Oh, hello, Andre. Hey, buddy. You seem busier than usual today. I'm behind in my work. I went up to the Shrine of St. Moritz this morning to pray for his aides. The candle I lit has all but burned away. I was there so long. Now I need to catch up. Do you go to the Shrine very often? Your dedication to St. Moritz is impressive. If I'm ever in a church that long, I must have fallen asleep. Oh, well. Truth be told, I only started going to the Shrine more often when Helena became pregnant. Her mother had trouble in childbirth, so I've been paying visits to Moritz and in Seisha's shrine to pray for her aid. I hope that the saints hear your prayers. You would be better off preparing for the child than praying for the saints. Do you really think the saints will hear you? Thank you, and Jess. So do I. Yeah, just be nice, man. Don't... There's no point in being mean to people's belief. Challenging people's belief is, is not something you want to do when the Volkberg. Volkberg. Look at this guy, Sibat. Sibat looks cool, man. God give you health, Master Mailer. Brother Sibat, I'm surprised to see you still here. As I am, but I will be leaving soon, returning to Rome. And I and my bishop regrets that we could not reciprocate Father Rudolf's generosity earlier. He showed much kindness to a priest at the Council of Constance many, many years ago. Will you remain in Rome? That is up to my bishop, but I will miss these mountains in any case. You should travel to Ethiopia, Master, and see the highlands. God has blessed my home with a wondrous beauty. I would love to, someday. I still need to return to Nuremberg and open my workshop. Yes, someday. Until then, if you are ever in Rome, I may still be around. I would like that. By the way, if you have some time in the next few days, it would be nice to share a meal with you and some of the town folk. Town folks? I am accustomed to strange looks, especially in rural places like these. But I have, but I have had kind woods words with the baker and his wife. Oh yes, the Alban Ulrich and Greek. I offered to tell a story to the children and their mothers over a meal someday. Brett seems excited about the idea, but I would be more comfortable if you were there as well. I do, do not eat here with the brothers. I can certainly make time. We've got a date. Church. Okay, let's go. Let's go work. That Christy, Old Bailey. Oh, so passe. Time to work. Okay. Come on, boss. This is good work. Brother Adok, this work, I don't know where to start. Inconsistent spacing, rough stroke. Yeah, Brother Adok is a... He, he's, he should retire, man. You're working like you want to see this place closed. Yeah, Adok. Brother Pryor, I'm working... Brother Pryor, I'm working to the best of my abilities. And I'll dispute your criticism. 
I may not be fast, but I'm not good either. But I still have no talent. Praise be God. And brother guy, why are you still on this page? What's wrong with you? Normally you're so reliable. Many apologies, brother Pryor. I would work harder. Classic manager, just walking around and shitting on people. Piero, I can't believe this. Baron Rodvogel has come to check on his progress, and this is all you have? Yeah, why aren't you sitting down and helping, man? You should have finished this month ago. Is your mind so corrupted by age that you didn't notice the season have changed? When do you uh, sit down and help, man? Well, you're not the one who will have the answer for this, so why should you care? Typical. Excuse me, Prior Frank, but I believe your point is made. God, shut up, Fenrek. Stop talking out your frustration on an old man. There you go. You, impudent nav, how dare you speak to me like that? I am the master of this scriptorium. It is my place to run the scriptorium as I see fit. I agree, Brother Pryor. Brother Piero's work is inacceptably slow. You are insufferable, Brother Guy. Oh God, give me the patience to endure this. Please, everyone, this is my work, and I accept responsibility for it. Prior Fenrek is right. My God. What's up, buddy? You like it? You like what we're doing here? Prior Fenrek, is this mine? It must be, yes? It is, my lord. I can't ex... I don't want excuses. I've come all this way, and I have to be honest, I expected war. It's nowhere near finished, and the style is, well, it's very old-fashioned. I thought I made my desires clear. I feel like my generosity towards Kerso is being taken advantage of. Am I the fool in this sad story? No, of course not, my lord. Never. We can fix this. Of course, of course. We only want to accommodate you. Ah, Nom, good to see you again. My lord. Good to see you, Lawrence. My lord, if you please. Father Gernot, why not have Andreas completed the rest of the illustration? He's clearly capable. Well, my lord, why not have Brother Guy complete it? it if speed is your... No, 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 I'm not talking about the script, but the art, the illustrations. I want Andreas to do... The others. Of course, I mean, if Nam is alright with it. If it takes the pressure off of Brother Piero, I'd be delighted to complete the work. Ah, well, Abbot, I'm trying to finish my masterpiece at the moment. Well, I will do what I want. There we have it. I hope this always your concern, Mara. Excellent. By the way, Father Abbot, I'm still welcome at your table for supper. Naturally, my lord. Wonderful. I'd like Nam to join us. My lord, I've already made supper plans with the Drucker family in town. I got. I just gotta go cancel them. I just gotta go tell the Druckers that I can't be there. Do we... We gotta say this, and they'll... Nonsense. You can't eat with them any days. I'm only here for the evening. Well, father... Well, that would be quite unusual. Unusual night, I doubt that my good friends, the Prince Bishop, would deny additional guests at this table. What do you think? I understand. Yes, you're right. Of course. Nam may join us for supper. I look forward to it. But at least we told them that we had something. We just gotta we just gotta go cancel with the duckers. You you had this planned. What? Man, this guy, though. You must have put your hook in the baron this morning when you ambushed him in town. Uh, uh, go to hell, Fenric. Why are you mad at me? I'm trying to help. That's beyond ridiculous. Listen to yourself. Brother Pryor, Nam is not to blame for any of this. I am. Yes, you are. And you are embarrass me. The abbot and the abbe. Pryor Fenric is right, of course. No wonder we don't get more commissions. Can you stop flattering the prior for one minute? If anyone is embarrassed here, it's you, Fenric. You're so insincere and you're so obvious about it, guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not a monk, so I can say whatever I want to this guy. Let's just let's just go hard on him. 
if you please, Sister Denna and I would prefer it if you could keep the noise down. We're trying to uh, build a pair of scissors here. It sounds like Samson's slaying the Philistine in here. Of course. Get back to work, everyone. Yeah, Fenrek. Well, that was not wonderful, but there's nothing to be done about it now. I'll finish my work here and wash up the lavatorium for supper at the abbot's table. You gotta take a second to go at least cancel. Tell the... Tell, uh, a few more pages. Supper at the abbot's table. If we go see our friends, are they gonna... Can we just go at least tell them that we, we're not available? For supper? I, I want to tell them. I at least want to tell them that we're not coming. I want to go quickly say sorry, guys. We got... We can't make it for supper tonight. But if we go there, maybe they're going to tell us... Maybe they're going to... After house? Oh, the dancing. This looks nice, though. Gotta be, like, here. Cloister, and then left. What sauce do you put on poutine? Uh, you gotta put the... Uh, I think it's a mix of brown and barbecue. I think I like barbecue... I like barbecue sauce mixed with regular brown sauce. Like, 50-50, I think, is usually the best. Edo? It's here, right? Mill, France, Bauer and Widow Kemperin. Rucker House? It's locked. I just want to say hi, guys. They don't let me. I, I, I came here to just say hi. Sorry, guys. I can't make it for supper. Oh, uh, made it all the way, and the game doesn't even let you be nice? Go and check it. Go and... I wanted to go see them and say, hey, guys, sorry. Like, something out of my control came up. And I won't be able to make it for supper. But I guess they want you to be rude. They want the duckers to be angry at me because I, I missed the I missed the supper without telling them. But I did go to their house, guys. You saw it. I did go. Where's courtyard and lavatorium? Courtyard and lavatorium. Oyster? Crypt? Tower? Worm, Old Bailey, Sacristy. Courtyard, Cemetery. The Toilet! Friar's House. Friar Fenric, man. Make a poutine, ta 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 ta. Make a poutine, ta 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 ta. Make a poutine, ta 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 Kitchen and cellar. Gotta be here, right? Refectory. What's a refectory? Courtyard. I think this is here, right? This is where the. the this is where we're eating. Look at this. A bath scene. I'm so.